Hello, ladies, gents, and worshippers of the God Hand, my continued humiliation resumes at the hands of the Spelunky 2 Retrofire. Let's go with oh, inside these damn shifting moon caves with the retro look. How my disposition has been soured. Oh, the first episode. Oh, this is so great. This is such an awesome experience. I am so impressed. It is amazing. Big fan. Now I'm like, die, shopkeepers. I hate you. Oh, this stupid hitbox totally threw me off. I can't believe I died again. Slightly salty is what I'm trying to convey here. I don't know if it comes across that I have harvested a sizable pile of salt for my own person. I guess the retrofire has harvested salt from me. Yeah. Kinda mad, okay? I am allowed to be mad at a video game. I am a 80s born man child. I'm entitled to be mad at video games and think like it's like the most important issue that I could possibly care about. What? Where? I could have sworn I had that key. I had it in my hands. There it is. There was no reason to spin a bomb either. <laughs> it was free access through the bottom. Alright, give me that stupid dumbass garbage you got eye that I absolutely loathe. How quickly I am growing yet again to... We don't talk about these. We don't talk about these. Stop. There. How quickly I grow incredibly incensed. There. At the fact that I must have the Ujarai and I must get the bow and all that stuff. But the damn goal is to see the Cosmic Caution. What, you think we are not going to see freaking Hundun? And make sure to shoot it with a magical arrow. It must be done. Absolutely must. Curious though, we have yet to find a single jetpack. Okay, okay, we're gonna wait this out. <laughs> Scum Lord! There is a lot of violence going on down there. That has definitely been triggered. Bro will just die by his own hand. I would like to accelerate the process <laughs> through amazing, fulminating planning of my bombs. Definitely want this point of health. Pretty sure there was more turkeys somewhere else, but just can't be freaking bothered. Tell you something I can't be bothered for, though. And that is slaughtering Antonio Banderas. Never gets old for me. Like, there's two things in Splunky that never get old. Shooting shopkeepers in the face, shooting Antonio Banderas in the face. He has screwed me over so many times, getting mad and things that I have nothing to do with. And also plenty of things that I had a lot to do with. Wow, the rare alien in a pot in a... In a dwellings level, that is super rare. Only was the actual chance of that, probably like one in the thousand or something silly like that. It's very, very uncommon. Pretty neat. That means the run is blessed. 100% blessed by the alien overlords. All right. Ah! Okay, <laughs> I was slightly panicked at the spider. It's all good. Well, we got ourselves a new Jedi. And I have myself an extreme desire to claim revenge in the black market from how thoroughly I was humiliated. Come on! Oh! We don't talk about those. We stop talking about any of that. No comments. No making fun of me. No pointing out the absolute incompetence that is involved 
in something like that happening. Just carelessness, really. It's like, you know that the shotgun comes out of their hands. You know it. Wow! Jetpacks do exist! There you go. Amazing. That's all that we needed, right? All that I need is to find a jetpack and then uh, I am no longer liable to pay for my own stupidity, my extreme incompetence. Clearly the Ujara is here. We need to... Oh, wow. I just bombed literally on top of a pickaxe. Never punished. <laughs> Should be a key somewhere. Okay, we came down that way. That's the way we started. Like, we literally must have seen it as we passed all these places. Kind of funky. It's just not up there, huh? The only place left is the bottom right corner. What? This is what happened. And then I jumped down without touching down. <sighs> okay, I'm just in the way here. <coughs> Bruh, where is the where's the key? What the What the hell? I am confusion. Ah, oh, freaking uh <laughs> it's such a tiny sprite. It's such a small thing. I guess that is the very first and only criticism I got for you, uh, Retrofire. You sometimes hide things because of the sprite changes. And I don't appreciate it. This is, I, I just want an explosion. I, I want to see this man suffer for the way that he sold explosive items. He deserved every bit of what just happened. Put a bomb there. Or I am hungry. And I'm willing to do... Oh, oh. I don't know whatever happened here, but I'm glad that he went down that way. Oh, of course he was mad. I had uh, just blown up his buddy. Right. Go to the jungle. The desire for revenge continues to be very... Very prominent in my breast. You know why I never go up here? It's just like a strange entrance and it's always there. What's the deal? Does that mean that... Let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. That entrance is always there and I never, ever, ever pay any attention to it. What's the deal with it? How come I have never paid any attention to this? What the? This is literally a shortcut. Why have I never even give it half a thought? You can come in here, put a bum here, use this little shortcut, and you go all the way to the bottom. Now, is it faster than killing Mole Man? Probably not. Does it free you from having to deal with the stupid piece of garbage that Mole Man is? Yeah, yeah, the answer is yes to that. You don't have to deal with Mole Man if you just take that little shortcut. Now, of course, if you want to min-max, get all the resources you can possibly get. Mole Man does have bombs and health, so you know. But it, it's boggling my man right now. I don't know why the worst come out of, came out of that way. I suddenly just became autistic. Don syndrome is uh, taking over my mouth. It's boggling my mind right now that I never put that together. How odd. Had you put that together? Had you ever thought that, hey, this is actually a way down into Mole Man, into a, this is a, basically a Mole Man skip. It is not time efficient it's not resource worthy but it sure is nice to know that it's here look at the arrow is pointing only at this one ah sucks we 
gotta go with the bow in the black market. It's just how it be. Nothing I can do about it. Well, just, you know, dying and restarting. We're used to that. That's like the standard solution to all my problems. I find any kind of obstacle in my run, just die and restart. Often, it doesn't solve any problem. It's just what ends up happening. Alright, I'm letting the salt get the better of me. Okay, I'm slightly too deep in the sauce. Feeling too slighted. What's going on in that tile? It's just a weird... A weird, uh... Graphic. Alright, I'm oh, just getting a little bit of catch. Why the hell not? Alright, well, this jetpack and this bow, they go together nicely. Maybe I can even pull off a freaking skip. Do not ruin my life! You know what happened to my arrow? Nearly invisible in, <laughs> in the jungle? Oh, oh! Let go of that. It's a very expensive piece of equipment. idea how much this cost at the archery shop. Boots. I want those boots. I am uh, very partial to those boots. And I also would appreciate having a tool of destruction to eliminate the fool. Let me just toss that casually. Or a casual toss of the hamster. Go away, stupid monkey! Alright, let me just uh, do a slight bit of violence here. Opens up the way to grab all his nonsense. Climbing gloves are okay, I suppose. Oh, I like my arrow back, don't know what happened to it. it just dropped somewhere down there. Let me just wait this out, wait this out. Perfect timing. Perfect timing was not achieved. Perfect time it was achieved. Perfect time it was not achieved. All right, I don't have a freaking arrow. I don't think I can, I can afford not having an arrow for this bow. Unaffordable. There you are. Excellent. Fills me with joy to see them explode. All right, another. Oh. Oh, I have boots. This freaking uh. Holy crap! This freaking plant, man! Very resilient fellow. Ooh, no, no, no. That's the first one we see, I think. Whoa. Oh, he's so mad. Oh, we just need to come over here and they'll start shooting each other. We'll just come, need to come over here and they'll start shooting each other. We just need to open this up and they'll start shooting each other. Maybe not be in the line of fire, though. Fellas. Fellas. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh. Please. <laughs> How does he manage to be exactly where? No, you fool. You absolute moron. He always managed to be exactly where I was going to be. Just being impatient. Dude. Dude! Bruh! I have not seen the other side of the jungle! This is... The... Biggest humiliation! Since all those randomizer runs... That would end in the dwellings! Holy crap! This is awful! He said while antagonizing the shopkeeper yet again! <laughs> I can't help myself! That's it. Funky how Ow seems to kick the boomerang. Very uh, amazing trick. Okay, alright. Turns out that the jetpack wasn't enough to prevent me from throwing a runaway. I don't see no turkey, so there has to be a new Jedi here. I ain't seeing no turkeys around in this part. The golden key is always a mystery. It's 
so damn hard to find. We got that little bit of resentment going. Oh, goodness. The fact that the Ujarai is even more tedious than usual. I'll hold on to my salt. I'll use it to strengthen me, okay? You can't stop me from being mad. Because bad. This will be exactly what my run needs. One point of health. This guy is not yet pissed because uh, yeah, we are still in 1-2. How wonderful is that? Alright. Got my Ujarai. Got some point of health, but I had already squandered it. Pow! Might as well get that cash. Turkey man. Totally worth this bomb. There you go. Oh. They moved around. Hello, sir. You appear to be guarding the exit that I intend to use. This is incompatible. This is a clash of our goals. It would seem that the, we would have to settle this argument like gentlemen. So let me just shoot you out of range. Out of your range of vision. And you were a total gentleman to die to my dastardly hands. Very tempting to forego this silly jungle dream in favor of the... Volcana respite. But no. We're going to the dumbass garbage jungle. <laughs> Always satisfying to see that man getting his uh, remains being desecrated. Careful here, just slowly approaching. I mean, don't let all my salty annoyance fool you. This is a difficult challenge for your average gamer. It's a hard thing to go through the black market with angry shopkeepers. You kind of lose sight of that, of the fact that, you know, Splunky 2 is actually way harder than HD. I think we have proved that fairly conclusively with those. Let me go into Splunky HD real quick and blaze through it. This should be a good bomb. Not because it will uh, kill him, but because it will alert him to my presence. <laughs> you absolute trash. You managed to be exactly where you need to be. And you got destroyed! Alright, definitely want to go in here. I'm shooting in there because sometimes there's... What I want to kill. But this is a, a really a very bad hive. Thankfully, we were not punished. We did not receive the ultimate punishment. But could have easily been totally wrecked by the bee being uh, super malicious there. I'm just trying to reaffirm myself. Give myself a little bit of gamer confidence. Telling myself. It's not that easy. It's not that easy to deal with this. I forgive myself for what just happened. I forgive myself. I just did not anticipate the stupid shopkeeper camp being right next to my face. You want to come at me, bro? Oh, sucks to be you. There's more of you. Come at me. Come at me! Bonk. A uh, gabonk! There. Gadurst! Alright, you're both stuck forever. Shooting fish in a barrel. Sweet deal. Like punching babies in the crib. Only got to do that once. Had to spend. Ah! Ah! <clears throat> <laughs> I didn't see it. It was a very stealthy, very stealthy little trap. It was just this 
golden dot. Would you? Would you have seen that? Were you in my shoes? Would you have been like, yeah, that's obviously a death trap. You should definitely not jump in there, you fool. Or would you also have jumped in there? Like, I literally saw nothing. Only after the fact did I realize, oh yeah, those are things that I should be watching out for. I feel like that's uh, not really a retro fire mistake. Even though I would have certainly 100% have seen it in regular Spelunky. It's a lack of awareness. It's me not being aware that, hey, you're in the jungle. You need to watch out for insta-death traps like that. Yes, it was harder to see, but you should have been watching out for them. And I wasn't. I was not watching out for that at all. Let's see the Ojeda area over there. Need to find the key. Trying to maybe find the damn dumbass key. There it is. Sucks that I'm gonna have to use a bunch of ropes. Yeah. They're not traveling. Yep. The, these bullets are not traveling the way that I want them to travel. So. Yeah. All right. All right. I mean, it was my mistake. I continue to refuse. To not antagonize the shopkeepers. That is cowardice. That's giving up. Instead of getting good. It's like you're in Elden Ring. And there's a boss where you're. Just not getting any traction. Instead of getting good. You just turn around and be like. Well, I guess I'll go somewhere else. I can't beat this yet. <laughs> be a filthy casual like that. No. That's not the way we do things around here. Do you want to come up here? You're still alive. Don't you want to partake of the wonders that Kali can bestow upon you? No? Please. Well, I have run out of patience, so I guess we're just... Never speaking of this instant thing. I might just stop recording this file hit the delete button and pretend this never happened that is how that is how far <laughs> my shame is starting to cover me it's just holy crap i was trying to just kind of look away like it was such a done deal in my head that this man was dead that i was already turning around and that's how i turned around before the shot actually reached him. Just calm down. Just calm your tits. Just calm your tits. Can I get arrowed again? That's hilarious. Uh, let me just uh, stand here, watch him explode. Very happy to see that. Not so happy about this, though. And, and the Ujara is in this one. God damn it. Well, that's a lot of bombs. I need to get this point of health. I am all about to freaking die. Ujedi was also super easy to grab. 20? Oh, well, we don't have a whole lot of health. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> Let me do this. Look at me. Look at me doing this. It's right above me. I've never actually dug for this thing. It exists! We just saw it! What is it on the other side? Now I'm freaking curious. So that's why, right? It's not a guaranteed thing. That's stupid. Uh, does he roll toward- he totally does, right? If I stand here. Nope. Only one point of health. So I do want to kill him. <laughs> Mistake. Alright, that explosion shall take care of it. Alright, okay, just uh, went to Volcana. This is not me giving up on the black market. 
It's just uh, recognizing the fact that I don't have the freaking new Jedi, so I kind of have to do this. I mean, the upside is uh, I get to play yet another episode. <laughs> you get to play yet another episode of the Retro Fire, which I am enjoying a great deal. Despite all my griping and self-flagellating and all the infuriating constant uh -oh. self-flagellation. <sighs> the fresh coat of paint on Spelunky 2. Like, it's clearly doing something to my brain where I just, I'm not processing the game anymore properly. I need to retrain it to be decent. Being even remotely okay at navigating the game's threats. Maybe not jumping straight into a freaking uh, arrow trap. Now I'm just, you know, going forward out of spite. Being bad. Trying to rush through. Sure, the Ujedi wasn't this one, but uh, they didn't give my my choice. That that uh, particular level was just trash. It was awful. There's Antonio Banderas. I don't know why you exist with this incredible pile of amazing stuff. This jetpack is going to solve every problem, and I'm not going to suffer. Any kind of punishment anymore. Okay, Antonio Banderas is mad at me. It's clearly, he's going to pick the exact right time to come. Come at me, bruh. Come at me, bruh. I want this turkey. I want it. Oh, oh. All right, he has been impaled like a complete piece of trash. I did see the Cali altar. It's kind of hard to get to. Ah, they were two in there. <laughs> Stole the crap out of me. Alright, it's kind of a pain in the ass to get the Kapala. I will have to go hunt for more flesh. I'm not feeling that devout today. I'm just going to go to this side. Put a bomb in this turkey's butt. Count myself a successful. Alright, so the thing is the shortcut to the mole man is not a guarantee. That's why nobody actually uses it. Like, I literally have been glossing over it all this time for so long. See, it, it does it's not guaranteed to spawn it. That's why nobody gives a damn about trying to find that little shortcut. Why even bother to code that into the game? Wait, wait, wait. I don't have the Ujedi. This guy climbs after me. So let's not let him ruin my life. Very comical. Like, uh, how, how does that feel? To be throwing yourself into an obstacle that you know how exactly how it works, and yet you succumb to it at all times. Kind of frustrating, isn't it, Mr. Shotkeeper? Kind of makes you want to commit seppuku, huh? Hard, hard stuff. Easier Kapala was never spawned. Oh, we have a jetpack. Let's be certain that I don't mess up. Throw myself into a right torrent of lava slash fire. Foolishness, foolishness. I am liable to suffer from it now and then. No, no, I shot. I shot a pile of fire, and it set me on fire. That's the way fire works. Incredible. 